Okay, so we've got a fairly quick video here, quick project build. Uh, I saw this on eBay and just had to buy it. It's the most crazy bike ever. It reminded me of my old uh, Lotus bike, the Chris Boardman Time Trial from the obviously Tour de France. I think it was 1994 or 95, maybe 96. I might be wrong. Anyway, it was the quirkiest bike ever. Uh, before obviously you see I changed the rules and banned it but this uh, American company called Ventum have uh, remade it and I just had to have it so I crazily bought it this was about a month ago and this is the the build and the obviously assembly of it okay guys the box has arrived I think it's from eBay I'm not sure <laughs> got all the uh custom stuff all over it which is now paid so I'm looking forward to opening this one later Radical Velo oh. Let's see if we can slide it out Pretty good condition. A few little bubbles from the bubble wrap. They'll go after time. Give it a good clean. Uh, yeah, pretty mental, uh, mental machine. This should be good fun to build it up and uh, get it on the road. Yeah, looking forward to it, guys. Post uh, the aero bars, front fork integrated aerodynamics which is pretty cool uh, I think it's gonna be a fun build this one very very sleek design As you can see from the back it's like a blade the Lotus used to have the brakes here but obviously this one's integrated underneath a better much better aerodynamics uh, just got to choose which wheels really now to have on it not really sure I'm thinking of maybe cosmics a bit quirky it would be like the the old head three, isn't it? The the tri spokes, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure with like side winds with that. Cause it's a very thick, solid frame, isn't it? If you look at it from the side, imagine on the front line, a straight line. It's like a rocket, but I don't know how it was going to handle. I'm gonna well, pretty much aim to use it for everything. Really, daily rider. Just about to drop the bike off. Managed to fit in there, so we're off to summer court. Hey, dude, so we're back. It's a week later. I've come to pick up the uh, black machine, as you could call it. So, hopefully, we'll be picking it up in the next few minutes. It's got the souped up group set and everything, which is very nice. All brand new. Just got to get it in the car now. I brought the smallest car possible to put it in. Just leaving Clive Mitchell's cycles, handy carpets as well. <laughs> if you want a carpet while you're bike riding, it's a home's that way. Very Joy's well. loving the smallest car in the world. It just fits in. It's got my greasy fingerprints all over it now. I was worried I was gonna have to have it hanging out the back, but luckily I just got it inside. I've got the forks in the back of my head, but that's the sacrifice I'm willing to take voyage today. Uh, never ridden a TT bike before, well not one maybe 10 years ago for about four miles uh, so it should be an interesting experience. So you can see everything's been set up. Got a uh, 5339 1128 so it should be a nice combo for around here. It's quite hilly. All electronic shifters ones here with the brake levers as well just to be uh, I suppose it's just easier isn't it when you're climbing but yeah nice package very aerodynamic okay guys it is so windy I keep catching uh, crosswinds and stuff 
and the handlebars are so narrow it's the slightest crosswind and you think you've gone so I'm going to take it very easy I think the wind's going to pick up on the main roads so I'm just going to have to be super super careful with this uh, excuse the traffic it is such a weird bike it's so um, aerodynamic it just doesn't want to turn I think that's probably what I'm feeling as I'm riding along it catches the slightest bit of wind and it's such a deep deep section frame it sort of takes you but the bike fights it it's like the bike's so stiff it doesn't want to steer at all uh, I've got the next section coming up which is four miles now of main road so I just hope it behaves itself I haven't dropped into the the aero bars yet I'm too scared <laughs> that is paradise look at that water Turned out to be a beautiful day. Uh, the test ride went okay. Still getting a lot more rattles from this, so I'm going to pad it out. All right, it's very sketchy going down the hill. I hit probably close to 40, and it just doesn't want to go around corners. <laughs> it wants to go. It wants to just go straight, which is worrying. So it's going to take a bit of getting used to this. It does not handle anywhere near like a road bike. Okay, just been to the pasty shop. Fortunately, they haven't got any pasties in, so I've got to wait half an hour so I went for another quick burn obviously still getting rattled from here which is annoying but foam pads will sort that uh, it's very hard on the a lot more weight on the front on this one still haven't tried these <laughs> I might muster up the courage later just feels really weird okay dudes I've improvised I put some bits of tissue there and there tapping it now it doesn't make any noise I obviously put like a strip of foam black foam down there I reckon that'll work T minus 20 minutes for pasty time well the tissue the padding worked on the water bottle I'm sure there is a better way of doing it we'll get some foam uh, so far I've done about five miles I reckon maybe six uh, pros and cons uh, pros it's literally like an arrow it goes like a rocket this thing Ah, uh, gears are brilliant as well, just one touch. Just tap the buttons and up and down. Same on these. Uh, the integrated storage is brilliant. 1.4 litres of fluids in there. All nicely aerodynamic as well. Uh, cons. <laughs> There's a few. Um, when you're riding it, it doesn't feel at all like it wants to go around a corner. At all. It's very scary. Uh, also, crosswinds are a bit sketchy. I'm still getting used to those. It literally just wants to go in a straight line, and if you turn, it's sort of it's fighting you. It's like someone's got their hands trying to stop you turning. But once you get over the initial shock, you can sort of start not throwing it into corners, but it will obey. <laughs> Another Dalek there. You will obey. I think obviously the deep wheels don't help with the fact that it wants to keep going straight uh, but yeah aside from that the seats not the most comfortable but then it is obviously a time trial there's also a lot of weight on the front on your arms when you're riding it I didn't realize how far forward it pushes you with the geometry obviously I've never properly ridden one before I did have that crazy idea about putting um, drops on it I'm so glad I didn't now so so glad it would just literally you, you'd be right over the front of it it would be so uncomfortable um, I've yet to do ride up a hill on it yet which is quite frightening <laughs> uh, so that'll be coming later but I'm gonna grab my pasty now about five minutes and they'll be ready but yeah amazing machine just hope I get home in one piece there's not too many winds